the moment we've all been waiting for, at least I have been, I've been pretty excited about this one, the Taito Egret 2 Mini. We pretty much have the uh, entire bundle, all the controllers, the extra games and whatnot. And I did bring out the Sega Astro City Mini and Neo Geo Mini just for size comparisons uh, once we get this thing unboxed. But just looking at the packaging for these, it's like we started out small, the Neo Geo Mini, then we got medium with the Sega Astro City, and then we got large. Pretty crazy stuff, I mean, yeah. I really enjoy the Sega Astro City Mini, so I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, like so far this has been my favorite, and we do have another one of these coming out later in the year. Looking forward to that as well. We'll compare sizes to the machines in a moment, but here we go. This thing is looking pretty slick. 40 games built in, here's the packaging. All the additional controllers, which we have right over yonder. Just giving you an idea of what we're working with. Taking a look at the packaging here. List of the games, Ninja Kids, Puzzle Bobble, Bu Bubble Bobble. We got, we got a lot of stuff here, man. Haley's Comet, Elevator Action. There, there's a lot of cool stuff here, man. So there's that. Anything underneath? No, we'll open that in a second. Here's the, uh, the controller, little trackball spinner controller that comes with 10 additional games. Comes with a little SD card. You get Plump Pop, Arkanoid, Revenge of uh, Doe, Arkanoid, Arkanoid uh, Returns, Strike Bowling, Poochie Carrot, yeah, Birdie King. There's, there's some cool stuff here. We're gonna be messing with all these things. Today I wanna unbox this stuff, get some initial you know, thoughts, test it out, and you know, possibly do some follow-up videos. Uh, here's the standard controller. There we go. Because you can plug this into a TV if you want and just sit back and use this. Then here's the arcade stick. This kind of got a little heft to it. Pretty sweet. So one of the things with this is supposed to be we can rotate the screen. So as you see there, let's go ahead and get this thing out. It's first time opening it. Hopefully everything's in here. Let's see. Thank you. Oh, we got, we got stickers. What do we got in here? We got the instruction manual. This thing uh, does have English language options when you first boot it up. But as this is the Japanese release, the manual is in Japanese, understandable. And then here's all the little extra decal action. That is pretty sweet. Ooh, power cable. Actually came with a cable, probably not a brick though. We'll see. Uh, HDMI cable. And then the, I think this is the little plastic uh, topper, the little marquee thing. Yes, it is. Oh, here she is. And there's just cardboard in there. Here she is. Not just that the packaging was bigger than the other minis, the actual unit itself is bigger. That is freaking awesome. That is sweet, man. They're progressively getting larger as they, you know, continue to come out. I like the, uh, the stick is, is, you know, it's bigger than this. <laughs> That's what she said. And it just feels better. The buttons, about the same and they, they look the same. The little speaker grills up there. Oh, we gotta get, we gotta get this on there. All right, let's get the, uh, there we go. What? That is sweet. That click. Oh my God, let me see if I could show you the inside there. That, I mean, it feels quality. That is cool. USB-C for power, one player, two player, HDMI, and a headphone jack. This is the arcade stick, second player controller, which I'm sure plug it into the first player slot and you're good. And this thing, obviously, I mean, just pulling it out of this thing, obviously they weighted it down because this thing is freaking heavy. 
just by itself. They had to have put a metal plate in there. Then you have, ooh, eight-way and four-way switch. Oh yeah, I could feel it. This is a nice little controller. It's got it's got that heft to it, man. There's that. Nice little rubber feet on the bottom. Extra rubber there. Okay. Kind of looks out of place. Get the controller out. Okay. Not the not the greatest feeling thing. I don't know if I really like this this D-pad, but we'll 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 get the test in it and find out. All right, let's get the little trackball controller out. Take a look at that. There's our SD card looking thing. 32 gigabyte card. It's supposed to have 10 games on it. This is definitely not as heavy as this thing. It's a bit lighter. Oh, wow. That is sweet. It's got like that resistance to it. The trackball feels good. That like, I like that. It's got like that feeling. How do I explain it? Like the resistance, the weight where you could, that feels freaking good. Like you turn it this way. If you want to try to stop it, the, the weight and the momentum, you could, you could feel it. it. It feels good. That's sweet. Okay, we got to get this thing plugged in and check it out. Okay, so here we go. We got this thing powered up. As you see, the logo up there lights up. Looking pretty nice. And we are greeted with uh, language options. So English is what I want. Now, I'm going to zoom up. I turn the lights out, most of the lights out, because this screen is very shiny so you get a lot of glare there's too much as far as lighting goes but as you can see on the bottom there it lists like letters d for favorite e for console settings and so on so the way that works is bottom row is a b c d e f that's how it goes so let's go ahead and get into the settings we got volume there is no volume wheel anywhere so you have to go in this to this to change it Five is the highest, not crazy loud. I kind of wish these speakers were a little bit louder. Brightness also can go to five. Then you have HDMI options if you have it plugged into a TV. Filter options on or off. Background music, we got three, three different uh, songs to choose from. F to change how we sort go by name and these are the 40 games we have on here so the one nice thing is in case you're not like familiar with some of the games it'll show you on the screen there like what orientation the game is in so like bubble bobble it's supposed to be this way horizontal once you select a game it tells you what the controls are it's similar to the Astro City Mini you can hit E to go to game settings choose number of players bonus points like dip switch settings type of thing, uh, attract sound, game difficulty, all that good stuff. Hit A to get into it and the game boots up. And then these buttons down here, okay, the white one takes you to like your save states. That white button right there takes you to save states, game options, that kind of thing. Reminds you what the buttons are, reset, all that good stuff. Uh, the pink one, is start and I think the this one is insert coin yeah no matter what game you play you can have the screen in any orientation you want and it'll just automatically rotate it all right let's let's try to play this as soon as I hear that click from the micro switch the character moves so that's a good thing and I'm just dying. All right, let's get out of this game. The screen is looking really nice, in my opinion. Viewing angles, I'm kind of to the left 
while recording this and I'm not having any issue where the screen's dimming or anything. It's a really nice screen. Okay, so this is mimicking what's already built in on there. I plug this into player one USB and we're good. It actually feels quite a bit better than using the uh, built-in controls, actually. I really wanna see how this D-pad performs because I just don't really like the feel of just my thumb sitting on it, but maybe I'll be surprised. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of this D-pad. I don't really like this. The controller doesn't feel bad. It's got like nice little butt cheeks back there, but overall I don't really like the D-pad. The buttons feel okay. It's kind of a cheap feeling controller compared to everything else I have here. Turn it back on, see if it recognizes the SD card on boot up or something. Okay, it's showing them now. Okay, that's actually like Feels all right. The trackball feels pretty good. There we go. That was a spare because I screwed up the first shot. All right. That, that's what I need is, is extra paddles. Oh, man, okay, I mean, I'm not that great at this game, but this little, this little thing feels nice. Okay, camel try. There ain't no camels in this game, are there? There we go. This thing, so we're gonna be doing some follow-up videos, live streams and whatnot, but for now, I just wanted to test some stuff, you know, see how all these controllers perform. And I'm, I'm really liking this thing. I mean, we could be here for hours playing it, so I figure follow-up content will probably be the best. We'll capture some footage, uh, you know, through HDMI and whatnot, live stream it do all that good stuff. If you have anything in particular you want me to test out in a video, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you want me to try, any specific games, extra controllers, that kind of thing. Um, right now I'm really enjoying it. I think the screen is amazing. The, the sound, it's not horrible, but it's not the loudest I've ever heard, obviously. I kind of wish uh, it went a little higher. Some games sound a little louder than others. Maybe it's just a game thing, but uh, yeah, I'm digging it. Let me know what you guys think. Drop those comments down below. Really do appreciate every single one of you guys. And with that said, give you guys a big-ass blurry thumb butt like a Bigfoot. Catch you on the next one. Bye.